Hi everyone, I'm Gabriel Zamora and thank you so much for watching. So for today's video, I wanted to do a full face one brand video again. So if you haven't seen my video from last time, it was actually full face using CoverGirl products. These videos are not sponsored. I just think they're really fun. I see other people do it all the time and I wanna do it. I'm like, why not? The CoverGirl one was a little bit pricier because I bought it at CVS and this e.l.f. one was actually a lot more inexpensive. I bought everything for like less than $110. I found some products that I really liked. I found some products that I hated, like absolutely hate it. And this makeup look is actually not horrible. It actually came out really good. Go! And this is all e.l.f. The only thing that I used that was not e.l.f. are my lashes and my beauty blender. So if you want to know exactly how I created this look and what e.l.f. products you should be keeping an eye out for, then keep on watching. I kind of cheated for this video. I had one of my friends here at Ipsy help me produce this video. So shout out to Shayla because she went with me to go buy the products and then she made me a cheat sheet spreadsheet where she like told me what the benefits are per product and also the price point because I'm gonna forget. So if you wanna know exactly where I got everything, I got it at Ulta. This video is not sponsored, but I think Ulta is probably one of the most popular stores that carries e.l.f. And don't go to CVS because if you watched my last full face cover girl video, CVS is too expensive. Just go to Ulta, like it's just better. And you can earn points where you get money back, which is a much better plan than like Sephora. Like imagine if Sephora gave you money back instead of those stupid little samples. Okay, so the first product I'm gonna be using, this is the e.l.f. Illuminating Face Primer. It gives you a radiant glow. It's mineral infused face primer, developed to combat against excess oil, flaky dryness, enlarged pores and fine lines. How are you supposed to do all that? And it's only $6. Oh, it looks a lot thicker. Like it doesn't look like creamy, like liquidy, if that makes sense. Usually like illuminating primers are very thin. <laughs> That's <laughs> thick. Okay, let's keep it in my T-zone. Oh, look, it adds like literally a glow to the skin. I'm very yellow now. Oh, <gasps> this is exciting. So, so far, it adds a glow to the skin. It is adding a radiant. So I don't know if you can tell, I just have like glitter all over my face. I think that's what's like helping make the illumination. This one, I don't know if I like it yet. We'll have to like really go into the makeup and then I'll let you know if I like it. Okay, so now I'm doing my makeup like I normally would. So I'm, I'm gonna have to color correct. So this is the e.l.f. color correcting stick in the color, I don't know, like orange. It corrects dark circles. So the reason why I wanted an orange color correct is because I'm gonna be color correcting my beard area. And this one is $4. Come on, hard dollar. Okay, so one thing you guys that I did mess up on. So I had gotten the e.l.f. beauty sponge. Oh yeah! I had the black beauty sponge by e.l.f. And I watched Sydney Black's full face e.l.f. video. She is obsessed with that beauty sponge. She actually uses it a lot. A lot of people have said it's really good and I had it, but I lost it. I'm gonna be just using a regular beauty blender because I don't have that sponge. All my brushes, you guys, are e.l.f. brushes, so I'm like excited to use them. This is pigmented. Like, it looks like I have a fucking hot Cheeto beard. <laughs> Moving on. This, I'm obsessed with, I love. This is very pigmented for $4. These are a thumbs up. Okay, next product, we have the e.l.f. Oil-Free SPF 15 Sunscreen Flawless Finish Foundation and the color sand. This isn't my color, you guys but it says sand. Usually sand is my color. I was like, oh, I can, I can work with that if I can bronze it up. But that is not the same color. No, Gabriel, don't cheat. You grabbed the wrong color. So I'm gonna grab my beauty blender and I'm just gonna. So I'm gonna use the Foundation Blurring Brush by e.l.f. This is a $6 brush. Maybe I didn't grab such a bad shade. It's like not really covering up the color correcting, but maybe the color correcting is making the foundation dark. Okay, so the more I play with it, you guys, it's not bad, like it really isn't. The color isn't horrible. It's like a light pink undertone. There wasn't that even that many options of foundation when I went into Ulta. Like there was like only like, I think three or four colors. I should have vlogged while I was in there. This was the closest one. The other one that looked like foundation that was like the next color down was too dark. And I was like, oh, that's going to be way too dark. This is an oil-free foundation. So to me, an oil-free foundation isn't supposed to make you look this glowy. And to look at my face, I'm like, oh, if I wanted a matte look, this would not be ideal. It smells like interesting. Like it smells like fresh but with a hint of chemical scent to it. Okay, now for concealer. So this is the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. Look at how tiny this is. Was all this necessary? I don't feel like it was. This is in the color light. Okay, so this one was the closest color. The other one kind of looked like it was my skin tone. So let's just blend this out. 
That's pretty. I mean, it didn't really do much. <laughs> like that's very sheer. Like it's not tart shape tape for sure. Like if you have very like dark circles, this might not be like the best cause it's a little bit sheer. It's not gonna fully cover everything. Then put it on your forehead here and then there. And just a little bit more. The concealer you guys is $3 and it's not that bad of a concealer. I mean, for the color light, it's a little bit dark. Like, I know there's people that are lighter than me because this can't be their highlight. Not automatically a thumbs up, but it's not a thumbs down. It's just like right in between. Like, it's like, it's okay. I don't hate it. I just realized that this is not a setting powder because it is beyond yellow, but I'm gonna slightly put some underneath my eyes. Don't set creased makeup because it will stay creased the whole day. It almost reminds me of banana. Oh my God, I miss banana powder by like Ben Nye. <gasps> Okay, yeah, don't put too much. I put too much on this side. Okay, so I don't hate it, but like on me personally, if that makes sense. I looked at the little packaging that I threw away. This is an HD powder. It's a high definition loose powder, which creates a soft focus effect on the skin, which helps mask fine lines and imperfections for radiant looking complexion. I mean, I don't hate it. Like, the skin looks good. Like, I think this is actually gonna help the foundation a lot. So this is actually $2.99, which is honestly a steal. This definitely gets a thumbs up for me. Like, I live. Me gusta, me gusta a lot. So for brows, I have three products. I have the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. This is a gel and powder eyebrow kit. Um, it has a powder on this side and then it has a gel on this side. I've been obsessed with it. The only thing that sucks is I, they didn't have my color. They only had it in medium, which I'm kind of like scared about because I like my brows to be very dark and not warm. But I also got a e.l.f. Eyebrow pencil in neutral brown. It doesn't look so neutral, it looks a little bit warm. And then I have a clear brow and lash mascara in the color clear. I actually used to be beyond obsessed with this, like beyond. Oh my God, memories, memories. Okay, I should start with a pencil actually. Yeah, cause that's how I always use my brows. Okay, so let's start off with the e.l.f. brow pencil. Pigmented, I will say that I'm going very lightly and it's adding a really good amount of product. Very thin brush-like strokes, which is hard to do with like a pencil. So already getting big thumbs up for me. Actually, I will say it's a, it's kind of neutral. It's not as warm as I thought it was gonna be and I'm not hating it. That brow is not bad. And this is just like step one. Okay. Like you guys, this is actually a really good pencil. It is neutral. Like I thought it was gonna be very like reddish toned. It's not the most neutral pencil I've ever dealt with, but it's not bad. Like if they made a darker one of this, still keeping it very neutral, like in the undertone, kind of like more cool toned, I would live because this is cheap. The brow pencil is $2. Damn, okay. Okay, you guys, so I think I got too excited too quickly. <laughs> it is a good brow pencil, but look, when I get out of that lighting, they are warm. It is a more warm tone than neutral. But if you don't mind that, this is actually a really good at brow pencil. It comes with a spoolie. The packaging is easy and clean. It's $2. That's how much product you get, which actually might not last you that long. $2? I don't like the color on me, but I mean, the brow product is actually like good. So this definitely gets a thumbs up for me. Okay, now we're gonna define the brows a little bit more and I'm gonna go into the brow kit, this one right here. And because I'm not finna do my brows with this, like it's just not gonna happen. Like, I'm gonna use my brush. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think it's 7B. It's like, it's kind of rubbed off, but this is my go-to, go-to eyebrow brush because it makes the thinnest, thinnest, thinnest lines of hair. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dive into this like pomade type of Product. The one thing I will say, the reason why I don't use it anymore is because it's a very oily consistency. Like if that makes sense, there's a lot of oil in it as opposed to like Dip Brow and Cabral by Benefit and Anastasia Beverly Hills. Those are meant to be more waterproof and matte if you have oily skin. I have really oily skin and it carries into my brows. So throughout the day, my brows can get oily and the product starts to look like wet if that makes sense. But with the Anastasia and Benefit products, it actually looks good throughout the day. One thing it is doing, it's making my brows more warm because it's that medium tone. That's not a bad brow. Like it's not horrible. It's not the best brow I've ever had, but it's slightly darker than the brow pencil. It is still warm. Ooh, this brow looks good. This one looks bushy. Remember your brows are not twins. They're sisters, but if this sister's thick, this sister gotta be thick too. Like it's just, 
Like they have the same genetics. Okay, the brows are there. I don't want to set my brow with this powder. It can go really south. It can go very south. But I mean, this is a full face elf, so let's try it. Yeah, I don't like what that did. It made him like really red. I like my brows to look like my brows come from me having black hair, if that makes sense. So it needs to be like a cool toned dark color. And this is very warm tone. So it's like, maybe because I have purple hair, it doesn't look as bad. Cause you're like, oh, you have purple hair. I don't like live for it. Okay, you guys, so this brow kit is actually $2.99. I don't recommend it. I will say I don't recommend this anymore. I used to use it all the time. I don't use it anymore because this is just too oily. If you have relatively like dry combination skin, I'm just very oily in my T-zone. The oil in my skin will literally break this product apart. The powder I didn't live for, maybe it was because it was this shade. So this gets a thumbs down for me. But for the clear brow gel, this is a $2 product and I've always lived for it. This side is eyebrows, this side is lashes. I actually love wearing clear mascara, you guys. I like a clear one on the days that I'm like being myself and like not really wearing makeup. I'm like, oh, I don't wanna wear makeup. But I'm like, I still put it on because it like helps define your lashes. And this one is $2. This one gets a thumbs up for me. So for a face, I wanna set everything cause it's still looking kind of oily. Like I'm not understanding why it's looking too dewy. Like, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the rest of my face. This is a finishing powder in light medium. This is what it looks like, which I'm kind of excited cause I think it'll like bring back the yellowness in my skin. And then it has this little nugget on the inside. If you wanna use this, like what I always recommend with these is keeping it in there for when you wanna take this on the go. What I'm actually gonna be using is a complexion brush by Elf. This is a $4 brush. This powder is like $6. So when you're on the go and you're like, I get really oily. The reason why I say keep this in there and don't use it is you can just throw this in your bag and touch up with this and not have to actually take a brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this brush. These brushes are so soft. Like I'm not even going to lie. It's bringing down the color of the foundation a lot. The reason why I don't mind putting that much powder is because I know we're going to set everything with a setting spray. Like look, look at this side of the skin. It's, it's luminous. It's good, but this is more so what I was going for. Yeah, like a satin finish. Um, so I got the contour palette and I was looking at it earlier. The picture on the box, this is not the same thing. These are not the same products. Where is the, this white ass color? What is this? It looked yellow. It looked like a setting under eye setting, like with very banana. This is not the same. I'm gonna grab this color right here because it actually looks matte. This one has a shimmer to it. And I'm gonna go underneath the eye to add like a powder highlight. Ooh, this is a good size mirror. <gasps> Inception. So now let's contour the face. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a angled blush brush. Okay, I'm gonna pretend like this is a contour brush. Well, I'm gonna try to like bronze the face first. So I'm gonna grab this color right here. I hope it's not ashy because I'm gonna be really sad if it is. It's like a very sheer bronzer. Like it's barely kind of adding some color. This one is $6, which for $6, I mean, I don't hate it, but you know what? Layering this bronzer is not bad. Look at that. You got me there. You got me there, Elf. Okay, so now we're gonna contour and we're gonna use our Elf contour brush, which I was like, is this really a contour brush? This is like a yeah, eyeshadow brush. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dab a little bit there and then like a dab there because I don't know how dark that's really gonna show up on my skin. The thing with like a nose contour, you guys, make sure you use a very cool toned color. Oh my God, I can barely breathe. Now I'm gonna dab, 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 dab. And I'm gonna keep it right there. Just to cut the cheek a little bit. There we go. So this product, the contour palette, I actually don't hate it. It's actually kind of good. This product I will never use in my entire life. These love. The price point is good, so it's actually a really good product. This little nugget, thumbs up. Okay, now we're gonna move on to blush. And just like the contour palette, it isn't as it's pictured. This is more pigmented than this. But it's kind of a good thing with blush because if I got these colors in blush, I was like, damn, like I'm not gonna put that on my face. Like, but these are actually kind of pretty. I don't hate them. We're gonna use a highlighting brush, you guys. But what I wanna do is I wanna dab into this one, the blush palette in the color light. So we're gonna dive in with this one first and see what that does on my skin. It's like a very like, what it feels like, it's like a very blush bronzer duo. Like that's the color that it's giving me. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do two dabs of that and then one dab of that, just to add a little bit of rosiness back into the skin. There we go. 
I don't hate the blush. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Okay, you guys, so the blush palette, I wanna give this a thumbs up only because I don't know if it was on sale or something, but this one's $2.99 while the contour palette was $6. Blush palette gets a thumbs up simply because it was on sale. Okay, and then up next we have This is an eyelid primer in the color Sheer. It was $2. So let's see. Ooh, that's light. Mayonnaise light. Make sure it's Sheer. Ew, someone opened this. Look at this tape. Ulta. Ulta. Bitch, this isn't even the palette. This is not the palette. I was like, maybe it's like the quality of the photo. That's a purple palette. Elf. Ulta, who f this up? I mean, there's like literally no transition shade. I'm gonna use the contour palette, that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use my contour brush and I'm gonna dive into this brown right here for the eye. I really wanted to do a purple eye. I'm like really sad now. It's not even that pigmented. Oh, that's not bad, okay. Not bad yet. So I'm gonna grab this, like it was rose gold color, all over the eye. Sometimes you have to try with your finger. Cute, metallic -y. that's what I want. Okay, so that's better. How much is this palette actually? This one is $4.99, so it might be on sale. I mean, you really have to like layer it on though. That's the only thing. You know what? I wanna like amp it up a little. Maybe I should use a gold. Buff out the edges. You know what? Let's try this color now. The second to lightest one. On the other eye. <gasps> Bitch, that's white. <laughs> that's as good as it's probably gonna get. So you know what? I'm gonna use this color right here. It has like a gold in it. So I'm just gonna like slightly smoke out the like outer corner. Okay you guys, so I was like, ugh, I need a little bit of something. So I was gonna try this eyeliner. This one is $3. It has a liner side, but this side is kind of cool. This has a shadow and look, that's beautiful. So I was actually putting that on the outer corner of my eye when I could have just been using this side. It is very creamy though. So I'm wondering if it'll like start to mess up throughout the day. If you have like oily skin, creamy stuff like this ends up getting like real wonky. Okay, you guys, so I did my liner. I had to do it off camera because y'all know I like suck at it, but this one actually didn't come out that bad. Yes. Okay, so now I'm gonna be using this e.l.f. mascara in a very black, and this one was $3. But this mascara is not bad, you guys. Mascara, thumbs up. Hopefully it doesn't flake. That's the real test, actually. Elf didn't have any eyelashes when I went, so I'm gonna be using my Lily Lashes in the style Diamonds. Let's pop these little spad boys on, and then I'll be right back to add some highlights, some lips, and some setting spray. And I'm done! Okay, you guys. So I put on my lashes. If you don't know, I do have a discount code with Lily Lashes. It's Gabriel, right here, spelled just like my name. You can save some money. These are the only lashes I really like to wear. I've played with other lashes. This is just my obsession. If you're new to this channel, I'm obsessed with Lily Lashes. Okay, now that the eyes are like actually kind of pretty, like this is actually really good. The lashes and the liner saved it. So now I'm gonna go on to lips, you guys. I have this little nugget. So this is a matte lip color in natural. This is $1.49 and it's like this like gorgeous little pink. Let's put this on our lips. So it's a little bit lighter than what I actually would like it to look. So I'm gonna incorporate another lipstick into it. This one is a lipstick in the color Blushing Brown. This one's also $1.49. But it still has that pink hue from the other one underneath. Time for the highlight. This is a baked highlighter in the color Blush Gems. Ugh, I've heard such bad reviews of this highlight and I hope it swatches good. Wow, that literally does nothing. This was $4. I guess I'm gonna have to use like an eyeshadow. So I'm gonna grab my blending brush. What I'm gonna grab is maybe this one right here. Okay. Let's blend this out. I mean, that's pretty. So I'm using this one now, this lighter one. Wow. Okay, I mean, as a highlighter, I mean, that's that Instagram highlight right there if I've ever seen one. If God allows us to. Right on the inner corner. And then final product, you guys, we have the Makeup Mist and Set. So this one is $3, you guys. This is a setting spray for $3. Wow. That smells gross. 
Ew, uh, that smells bad. And it literally feels like I only sprayed water on my face, which might be good for like all the powder that I did. Okay, you guys, and this is the final look. Look at me posing. Look at me doing all that stuff. Okay. Overall review of everything. Primer, yes, only if you are not trying to go for a matte look because this will make probably your foundation look a lot more glowy and a little bit oilier. This is not a mattifying primer. Primer, yes, thumbs up. Foundation is a very neutral and only because the color sucks, but the quality is good. And even then the color isn't that far off. It's just the fact that it has a pink undertone, which I don't like. And there wasn't an option for me to get a yellow undertone. So I'm gonna leave it very neutral. Like I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Concealer, yes, only if you like a sheer concealer. That's a thumbs up. It did more of highlighting than concealing, to be quite honest. Then we have setting powder. This is not really a setting powder. It's a color correcting HD powder, but I loved it as a setting powder because it just kind of reminded me of banana powder. So if you are of a medium complexion, this might actually be really, really good on you. And it was pretty cheap. For face powder, I am obsessed with this. I'm actually, I'm probably gonna use this more often. The finishing powder, this gets a major thumbs up. I really, really loved it. If the coloring is really good, especially if you have a yellow undertone. I think this is what fixed the foundation. So overall it looks good, but I think it's because of this powder. Contour and blush. Contour, yes. It wasn't that bad, like I didn't hate it. So I'm leaning more towards liking it because the bronzer and the contour and that under eye setting powder, I mean, it's a little, a little iffy. The blush palette, yes, only because it's sheer and it's totally buildable, even though these colors look crazy and it was on sale, so it was like three bucks. So this, I'm obsessed with, obsessed. Eyeshadows, girl, this was not the eyeshadow that I tried to buy. I tried to do a purple eye look and this is not a purple eye look. I just think you can probably buy something better if you go to like get the, like a Maybelline one or something else. Something that you can actually see because this was in a box and you can't really open those boxes even though mine was already open. I'm just, this is gonna be a no. This is gonna be a thumbs down for me. Eyebrows, eyebrow pencil. Yes, obsessed, obsessed. I actually really liked it. The brow kit, absolutely uh -huh. not, hated it. This is just, now I know why I don't use it anymore. I just, it's not good. Like, it, this is way too warm. I didn't understand this color in my brow. It's also because it's the wrong color, this is medium. I used to use the dark one, so maybe it's that, but this one is a hard pass for me. The clear brow and mascara, thumbs up. You get a thumbs up for me. I'm obsessed with clear mascara and I mean, my brows look like they're not going anywhere, so major thumbs up. Go! Mascara, it's a thumbs down. As I was putting on my lashes, it was actually getting on my fingers. Maybe you have to let it dry down or something, but it wouldn't dry down fast enough. It's a thumbs up only if you're not wearing false lashes and you can let your lashes like air dry. And then the liner, hell yeah, because this eyeshadow stick on the back is actually really cool and I really liked it. I kind of wish I had done that look instead, but the liner itself is like a pencil liner, obsessed, major thumbs up. And now lip products, actually thumbs up. I don't hate how it looks and how it feels. Like I actually really like it. It's very pigmented. I did two colors. This is $3 for these two little nuggets right here. So if you like mix and match and do everything, you can have an entire lip collection. Like I've seen some lipsticks go for like 16, 17, $20. And I'm like, girl, if they expanded their range, I would live. And one of my favorite products was actually the color correcting stick. Elf, if you can do this in a concealer or a blendable foundation, this consistency was not bad. Setting spray, absolutely not. I have no idea what I just sprayed on my face. It smelled weird as fuck. Can y'all just fill it up with water? Cause this was not, this was not good. This highlighter fucking sucks. Oh my God, this is a joke of a product. Don't buy this, don't waste your money. Elf, why is this on your shelves? Why? Garbage elf. I'm sorry, y'all have some great products, but this, y'all need to reformulate or do something. And then another product that I'm obsessed with that I actually didn't use on here, but I will literally use all the time, is a kabuki brush. I remember I was so obsessed with these back in the day. It just blends everything together so seamlessly. Overall though, the makeup came out good. I'm not mad at it. The brows could be a little bit darker, and these are all e.l.f. products, you guys. I didn't cheat and I didn't grab any other product. There is ever so slight creasing just around my laugh line, so the foundation isn't crease proof. But as long as you have your like little powder with you, I think you'll be good. If you guys like this video and you want me to do more of these like one brand product type of reviews, definitely give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comment section down below what your favorite product was, what are some of your favorite e.l.f. products that I didn't showcase on here that I should try. I'm more than willing to try more e.l.f. products. This was actually really fun. Like some of these products were actually really good, you guys. They actually were really good. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and until next time bye everyone bye everyone, bye everyone.